Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Eternal Flames. My name is Blaze. So, if you've noticed, we got ourselves a very interesting little setup here, and I've been looking at some of the older tutorials, especially for, say, like Terra Firma Craft. For those of you who have played Minecraft, but not Terra Firma Craft, you have no idea the changes that are in store for you. Not only that, but Terra Firma Craft has got some pretty large changes as of recently, which will affect our new series and our new Let's Play to better allow you guys to either A, follow along, or B, maybe jump in and survive and thrive on your own, here are a set of tutorials that I feel that you guys may enjoy to help you get along in the world. Keep in mind that these tutorials are for beginners or people who just haven't done that specific thing before. If you don't like this particular tutorial, feel free to skip ahead or maybe go back a couple steps. This particular message will be in front of all the tutorials and we heavily encourage you guys to watch them if you want the help. If you feel you want to learn on your own, by all means go try to, or maybe you just don't want to listen to me. In that case, go take a look at the wiki, which we have down in the description below. Hope you guys all enjoy, and I guess uh, we'll see you soon. Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to have you all. Okay, so now this time we're actually going to be going over some copper and bronze metallurgy. This is going to be a fairly short one, but it's still fairly important. Now, if you notice, I'm a little ways away from my forge. If I actually open my map, you'll notice that I'm not too far away. It's right here, and I'm just a bit south of it. Now, the key thing we're going to talk about here is the fact that you're going to want to find some copper. Now copper is the beginning metal no matter how you look at it and you're going to have to find some and if you notice there's a couple bits of copper kind of stretch around here. Now I've already gathered a bit and I've also found a little bit of tin but we're going to get into that in just a bit. First off let's go ahead and look at this copper. It's about 10 units which you're going to need 100 units per bar. Now this is important due to the fact that hair from a craft actually works off of percentages when making your metals. So, let's see if we can find three more. Here's one, here's two, and we're gonna need at least one more. Let's see, let's see. Um, hmm, might be a little bit tougher than I originally anticipated. But you wanna find at least 10 for your first copper tool. Now, keep in mind that you're not gonna need too much more after that to get started but you want 10 to about give or take 20. If you have 20 you're actually in pretty good standings and you're just where you need to be. For the time being we've actually got exactly how much we need. So let me open my inventory and we'll get two ceramic vessels going and I'm actually going to show you guys a bit of a trick. Now first off we're going to open this and we're going to toss 10 in this one. Now since it's 10 units a piece and 10 of these it equals 100 units. 100 units is 1 ingot's worth, but if you notice, I don't have a ing an ingot mold, just a pickaxe mold and a prospector's pick. This is perfectly fine and these can be used in this case. I'll show you how in a bit. Next we're also going to do the other one, and we're going to open it up and put the 9 and the 1 small cassatrite. Cassatrite is a form of tin. This is the way you're going to find it in the world, and if I'm not mistaken, it's the only form of tin you can find out there, even with mining. So keep in mind that Cassitrite is tin, and it's going to be a form of bronze for you later on down the line. Okay, so now that we've got both of these, we're going to go use an older technique. We're going to dig a hole. There we go. Okay, awesome. And then we're going to shift click, and we're going to put these in. Now, same as we made these ceramic vessels in the first place, we're going to bury them, put straw over, put oak over, and light this bad boy on fire. Keep in mind to keep it away from stuff that's overly flammable, unless you're trying to cause a ginormous fire. In this case, I was simply not paying attention, and it could cause me some severe problems if I'm not careful. There we go. That should prevent any forest fires. Okay, so I talked about bronze and I talked about copper. Well, this thing burns, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the thing on the screen and let you guys see other kinds of bronze that can be made. Just keep in mind that unless it says bronze or unless it's copper itself, 
you're not going to be able to use it. So, sterling silver as well as rose gold, not tool items, and keep that in mind. Okay. You think you got the recipes? Don't worry, take your time. They're pretty... <laughs> They're pretty vivid, aren't they? So, if you guys noticed, they definitely have percentages, but they have a little bit of leeway. That leeway is going to come into play a little bit later on, but in this case, we're only making one ingot of each apiece. So let's go ahead and fast forward time like we normally do. And we're going to go straight to night. And boom. Now, we have to hurry because if we're not careful, these metals will actually turn solid on us. And then these vessels will be completely useless. Okay. Now taking our molds, let's make a copper pickaxe. Awesome. And then we'll go and we'll open our other ceramic vessel. And we'll put in the prospector's pick. If you notice, these tools only require 100 units, which is equivalent to one ingot. Due to the fact that you need more items, Terraformer Craft is a little bit nicer in the fact that you only need one ingot per thing when it comes to basic tools. A little bit later, you guys will probably be making more heavy tools like bronze swords and bronze armor, which are going to require far more skill, but they'll also require a new tool later on, an anvil. Let me reset my time back to day, and I should probably eat something. Anyways, that's the basic of metallurgy, but obviously our tools aren't finished, so let's not end it there. Let's grab our tools by breaking the molds, and if you notice, I didn't get the molds back. So, these molds, one time use, as comparison to say the ceramic vessel or the water jug, which can be used multiple times. So keep that in mind and <laughs> try to be careful of that. There we go. You might even want to make multiples if you plan on playing with other people, or maybe you just don't plan on your tools lasting. Anyways, same as always, stick, tool head, and boom. Okay, now tomorrow we're actually going to be going over how to actually utilize these tools, specifically the prospector's pick and the pickaxe, as well as how to kind of get around to using an anvil. Now a couple of you may not know, but an anvil is not just important, it's kind of one of the most important tools and you're gonna have to go through some steps that you may not exactly be happy with. There's my fair warning and you gotta be careful of that. Okay, well that's gonna be it for me. It's been a pleasure having you guys. If you guys actually like this, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you guys don't like this, well, hit that thumbs down button. Let us know. We actually don't mind it because frankly, as far as we're concerned, if you guys can help us grow as a channel, we're more than happy. And we need to kind of learn from you guys. You're the people watching after all, right? Okay, so if you really, really want to give us some form of information at all, hit the comments. Let us know what's going through your mind and maybe you've got an idea for a tutorial that didn't show up on my channel. If that's the case, we're more than happy to oblige and hopefully it'll show up on the channel. If you made the comments and we weren't planning on already doing it, We'll go ahead and give you credit for bringing up that subject matter. Other than that, a subscription would be nice if you guys want to see more of these tutorials. If you don't want to subscribe, at least check out the playlist and hopefully you'll find everything you need there. After that, well, that's that. So, let's go ahead and end it here and stay safe, stay well, be careful. As well as, remember, copper is your basic, bronze is your metallurgy, and you need a hundred units to make one tool or one ingot. That's going to be it for now. Later, everybody.